Congress voting to impose a labor deal on these rail unions, a move that averts a strike that could have devastated the economy. Our congressional correspondent, Rachel Scott, has been tracking it all right there on Capitol Hill. And Rachel, some union members say this tramples on workers. Exactly, Cecilia. Union members say that they are baffled by this move from Congress. It's the first time in decades that lawmakers have had to step in to block a nationwide rail strike that the president warned would cripple the nation's economy right before the holiday season. Lawmakers in a bipartisan vote approving a measure that would impose a tentative deal that the president helped negotiate earlier this year. Here's what it includes. A $16,000 immediate payout, a 24% pay raise, $5,000 bonuses and an additional day of paid personal leave. What it does not include, guaranteed paid sick days, which was a big concern and a sticking point for some unions. The House did pass a measure that would have granted seven paid sick days, but that failed over in the Senate. Only one Democrat, Senator Joe Manchin, voting against it. But it did get a surprising show of support from six conservative Republicans who said that the demands from those unions needed to be heard. In stark contrast, though, all of those Republicans have opposed any any effort to make paid family and medical leave available to all Americans nationwide. As for the president, he says that he is a staunch supporter of paid sick leave, but the consequences of inaction were just too high here. It would have been catastrophic for millions of Americans. He plans to sign this as soon as it hits his desk, George. Okay, Rachel, thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.